All right, welcome to Volume Hunter, one of our most powerful pieces of software that we've created at the Cryptocurrency Institute. There is so much to go over if you wanted to go over everything. So to keep this short and sweet, I'm actually going to go over the key aspects of what you need to know to make money using Volume Hunter. And we don't need to get stuck in all the weeds. And I'll make sure I cover everything so that it will be very clear to you on how to use all the main aspects of Volume Hunter by the end of this tutorial. So, what we have on the left side is spikes today and spikes this hour. So if you want to trade more day trading, right, buying and selling within an hour's time frame, you can use spikes this hour. And since these are hourly by exchange, you can go to one of these, whichever one you want to trade on, and look at the coins there. So these are all the ones for Bitrex, and the price increases this hour. So you can look at the price changes by percentage. Market, it's Bitcoin to Steam, for example. And look at the volume change here. And this is very important to notice. And you can sort by this one too. So this right here is a standard deviation sign. I'll get more on that in a second. But basically, when there's one bar, it means there's a bit of volume that's changing. Two bars, it's a good amount. Three bars, a lot of volume is happening in that market. And four bars is a massive amount of volume and you really wanna pay attention to that. When you're hunting for volume, which is what Volume Hunter really does the best, what you're looking for is people who are doing a massive buy or a massive sell into a coin or out of a coin. That is a major signal for what you should do when you're trading these coins. If there's a massive volume spike into a coin, that means big money is getting in. That means it's almost definitely gonna go up and very soon which is a good signal to get in with the big money. If there's big volume selling, that means big money selling and you should probably get out as well. If you're not holding for the long term, if you're holding for the long term, don't worry about you know, the trading volume in the immediate term because if you're holding for the long term, that's not really as relevant. But what we're looking to do here is making money trading crypto. One of the best monies to make, best ways to make money in the cryptocurrency world. So, if I was not day trading, but I maybe wanted to trade one or two times a day or a couple times a week, I would be looking at the same exchanges, but in the daily buy exchange, not the hourly buy exchange. So, that would be different. And the amazing thing is we have a very, very sophisticated chart view. But first, let's say you didn't even want to look at the chart. Let's say you really wanted to trade the Bitcoin Steam pair, for example. You saw the price change, and you wanted just to, to check it out on the exchange. Boom, you click trade right there. It takes you to Bitrex, which is where the exchange is hosting this trading pair. But let's say you just were looking for a spike today, and you want to get in on something that is a lot of volume coming in. What you do is you click on the spike today button and then sort by volume change. Oh wow, four bars here. All right, Bitcoin Steam, this looks good. It's one up 8.9% this hour. All right, oh sorry, it went up 8.9% today. Right, because it's in today, not this hour. So what you do, is you click on view chart and it takes you to our proprietary way of viewing the chart. And this is really advanced because it helps you with technical analysis, looking at the chart patterns. So this is the Bitcoin Steam pair that we clicked on. See, Steam here um, and Bitcoin to Steam. So this is the volume right here, 150,000, 125,000, 100,000, etc. And each of these gray spikes is how much volume going on and you can click you know look at one of them and it'll tell you okay 
28,062 on that one. But what about this spike here? Whoa, 154,796. That's way more than you know something like 15,000. And we can we can really zoom by all kinds of ways, right? All this goes through all of January through February. And if you look at the volume here, in terms of longer term investing too, or even just swing trading, holding something for a few weeks, if you look at this volume here, this is a massive spike. I mean, over $7.7 .7 million worth of buying into the steam coin here near the beginning of January. And if you look at the selling volume, when it goes down here and here and here, it's actually very low. The volume is very low on all of those sales, right? It's super low. But when people are buying, it, they're buying in huge volume compared to the volume when they're selling. So that's a really good signal. Let's look at the hourly chart. If we're looking to more trade this in the near term. Oh, wow. Okay. All the spikes are going with the green candlesticks here. Boom. Boom. And the, when they're selling it, it's very low volume. That means people are accumulating this. Big money is making big purchases and is likely to keep going up. Here's a five minute chart. Look at the volume. It's really low in every five minute range here, except for you know a few little bumps here and there, which happened to be on the greens, not surprisingly. But look at what happens here. <laughs> Very recently, just in the last 20 minutes or so. Huge, huge volume buying into steam. Coming from volume of 222 all the way to 73,619. That's massive. And see this huge green candlestick increased the price. And now it looks pretty steady at that new increased price. And it's probably going to keep going up from here. So that would be a definite buy. These are all the recent trades with this trading pair, the coin of steam, on the Bittrex exchange. You can actually go on any exchange if you want to be trading on different ones, but this is Bittrex, which is one of our favorites. And here's all the recent trades, and you can look at that. More info about trading. Honestly, you don't need to be paying too much attention to these, um, as long as you're looking at the volume and this here, it's more important, and the chart especially. But, you know, if you're more advanced trader, this is definitely valuable information. The bid and ask prices, how much they're um, buying and selling for, basically, all the different market participants. And then this is on the Bittrex exchange, all these different pairs, and the price change, and, and the volume change in terms of standard deviations. So, if you look at this, 11.58 standard deviation change. Clearly, you can see that it's huge. And then other ones, you know, have five, four, two, ten, four, so it's a range, right? And you can sort by higher to lower standard deviation changes. Um, and what I want to show you is actually the Wikipedia entry on standard deviation. Don't worry, you don't need to read this all. I'm just going to go over the first paragraph so you understand a bit more about what this means. So in statistics, the standard deviation is a measure that is used to quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. A low standard deviation indicates that the data points tend to be close to the mean, which means average, also called the expected value of the set, while a high standard deviation indicates that the data points are spread over a wider range of values. So in a nutshell, what this is trying to say when this is 11.5 standard deviations is that it is a drastic increase from the mean, the average, what's normal, what's expected. Right here, you know, this, this might be one standard deviation, like right around this level here. It's normal. It's, it's the average of all of these volumes. So once, if it's 11.58 times more than the average change, that means it's a huge volume spike. So that's a good sign. So you're looking for higher standard deviation values when you're looking for the big volume spikes. And you can sort on these different exchanges by the price spikes in the last hour if you're looking to trade on a more short-term basis. 
and it'll pop up here in a second here. All right. And okay, last hour. Wow. Oh, okay. So it looks like these would be some good ones to look at. Steam, those are the ones we're looking at. SVD, ARDR. Um, pretty good price increases in the last hour and uh, really fantastic standard deviation values. And you also look in the last 24 hours. So for a bit longer time horizons, that's what you want to use. And it's going to pop up here. All right. Whoa, that is wild. 25%. Over 25% increase in price in the last 24 hours and insane tw over 24 standard deviations of a volume standard, uh, standard deviation difference from the normal. That is incredible. So these are things you can definitely be paying a lot of attention to and looking and zooming and looking at the different time horizons. So we hope you enjoyed this overview about Volume Hunter. And please let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, it should be pretty straightforward. And we really appreciate you being a customer of the Cryptocurrency Institute. And we hope that you make your investment many, many, many times over. We have many students who come to us saying they've made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars from our software, our information, our eBooks, our videos, our courses, our mastermind, everything. And that is just what makes us the most happy. And that's why we created all of this for you. Because we, we know you made an investment into this. And if you follow our advice here and you follow our advanced software, you will make it many, many, many times over, especially if you have a longer time horizon. So again, thank you so much for being a customer. And we look forward to hearing about your success stories soon. Thanks a lot.